hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to be doing a flutter navigation drawer we have created a separate class called navigation drawer which extends the stateless widget let's run this and see can see we have as you can see we have a menu icon when you click it our drawer comes up which is empty so far we have not put anything now in a drawer we're going to be using a single child scroll view widget with a column and a list of column children widget so we're going to be having a header and then the menu items so these will be separate widgets so let's create them up down here header widget so we have created our two widgets the header and the menu items so these will be the ones we are going to be using in the drawer so let's start with the menu items by making it return a column with a list of children widgets and inside we'll be using the list style widget which has a heading which is the icon and title as you can see up there we need some padding up there so we we'll add the padding in the header let's open the header widget and add some padding to the top using the media context okay let's go back to the okay let's go back to the menu item and then replicate the list styles to create more list to more create more menu items as you can see So let's add also a divider in case you want to divide this menu items as you can see we have added a divider there you can also use this we'll, so we wrap the column with the wrap widget so that we can be able to put some spacing between each item so we'll run this by putting a run space run spacing of 16 as you can see our menu items have given spaces to each other so let's reduce it to five okay that's better so next we'll be uh, doing the on a click action on each item on each menu item as you can see i've created a page called home screen so when you click home we go to the home screen i'm using material page route so that's our home page so when you click you see as you see that's a home page so when you click the back button you realize we come back to the previous page but the drawer opens itself so let's solve this by putting this routing into um, bracket then we add also another method that we always make navigation navigator.pop context so this will always stop the drawer from opening itself when we coming when we are coming from the previous page so let's try this as you see when you click back we come back to the home page when the navigator is not open okay let's do this for the next page which will be the my files page so we created another file called my files page so when you click my files you should go to my files page created it there when you click as you can see we are on my files page we click back go back to the main page so i'm going to show you how to access the navigation drawer in the files page so we just add drawer into the scaffold 
and called the navigation drawer that we created in our home page. As simple as that, this will inherit the navigation drawer we just created the other side. As you can see, the icon we have to change to a menu icon. When we run that, as you see, the arrow has gone back. Now we have a menu item. So when we click, we get back there. We can access the menu from there. So that's how you can import the menu into different pages. So next let's add contents into our header widget. We will add in a column with a list of children widgets. As you can see, I've already created this UI. We have a circular avatar, then a spacing with, a, with using size box, and then the two texts, which is the name and the email. So you can design it the way you need. So this was just a demo. You can add in more widgets and make it more nicer. But for today, that's what I've done to show you how to do a navigation drawer in your Flutter applications. So guys, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.